everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jessica and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari and I am currently doing a how-to series and the whole objective of this is to help new poshers uh, learn all about the platform through my how-to series, um, whether it's sharing your closet, finding comps on Poshmark, thrifting, whatever it is, I thought I'd make this how-to series to make it more beneficial for new poshers to learn all about how to utilize the Poshmark platform the best possible way. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, I'm going to take you all through how to find comps on Poshmark. And the most, the easiest way to do this is looking, well the only really way to do this is by looking at what has sold on Poshmark already and how much it has sold for for the item that you are specifically looking for but not only should you be looking on Poshmark on how much these items have sold for but you should be looking at competitive sites other competitive sites other than Poshmark whether that's eBay, whether that's Mercari, whether it's just what's what the sale price is at the retail store because you always want to make sure that your pricing is within that same price range as the other platforms so that you're not underpricing your items and you're not overpricing your items because that can really hurt you if you are not staying competitive and you're pricing way too high where no one wants to purchase from you for that item or too low and um, people might either buy from you because it's too low and you're missing out on money, more money that you could be making or your pricing is just too low that maybe it looks sketchy and people might think it's fake or something like that. Um, so do your research in comps and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. So we are going to go through any um, of these items that have been have sold over the entire platform. So I'm going to look at specific items so that I can take you through how to do this. Now I thought it'd be fun um, to do to do something um, that I've never sold before. So I would like to do a Chanel handbag. Um, so we are going to go through my closet, or I keep saying that, we're not going to go through my closet because I've never sold anything Chanel. What am I doing? Okay, so we are going to first look at the very top of the screen where it says listing. Next to the Poshmark um, logo, it says listing. And we are going to type in Chanel handbag. And... Once we go there, it's going to show you all of the results in what is currently selling on the platform as Chanel. Now, this is just a side note that I want you all to keep in mind. If any item is $500 or more, it must first go to Poshmark's headquarters so that they can authenticate and make sure the item is real. If it is not authenticated, they will either send it back to you, but you have to pay for the shipping, or they will just keep the item and get rid of it. So, keep that in mind that some people will not price at 500 or more, because they don't want it to go get authenticated. So keep that in mind whenever you have a luxury item to, um, you know, if you, if you don't care if it goes somewhere before um, it goes to your buyer, then just keep that in mind when you're pricing a luxury item. So now we're going to um, look at the sold listings because Let's say I have a black Chanel handbag um, that I want to sell, but I want to see how much it has sold for in the past. Now, another thing to keep in mind, when you are out thrifting and you come across an item that you do not know what to price it at, this method will come in handy because 
this will show you what the item has actually sold for so you can get an idea of how much money you will actually be able to make off of this item um, based on these comp sales on what has sold for that item. So if you pick up an anthropology shirt that you've never sold before, you don't know how much it could sell for, go do this method that I'm showing you now and you will be able to see how much money you could actually make off of this item. So that will help you understand what to price it at, what you could get for it. Maybe you're at the thrift store and you do this method and you see, oh my gosh, this is so not worth $4, I'm putting it back. Or you're like, wow, I can make 60 bucks off of this, I'm picking it up. Um, so it's really important to see the how much items have sold for um, before picking it up at the thrift store. So we are gonna go down here on the left where it says um, all available or sold. If you do all, it's going to mix availability, like ones that are on sale right now, plus the ones that have already sold. So I want to look at what has sold. I want to know what, how much the handbags have sold for. So let's say that I am selling a classic, the single flap classic black Chanel bag, um, the lambskin bag. So I see up here that they have sold for $2,500 each. Um, let's see, keep scrolling down. This one sold for $3,500. Oh, I would love to have one of these. So you can see all the different Chanel handbags, um, but I don't see any more of what I'm looking for. So you can actually narrow it down even more. So if we want to type in Chanel handbag, um, single flap black. So you can narrow it down even more. So now it's going to take away the sold ones and it's going to put what's available. So I want to go back over to availability and hit sold. And now it really narrowed it down to exactly what I'm looking for. So make sure you're always very, very specific um, in the items that you are searching for to see what has sold. So I have here 2,500, 2,500, 1,850, 2,300, 2,222. So I'm as I keep looking at these prices, I see that it's really in the 1800 to 2500 range. So depending on the quality, depending on if it's brand new or um, maybe it's a couple of years old, maybe it has a little rip on it, your pricing needs to reflect that. If there is an error, whatever this big or small, whatever it is, whatever flaw it is, that needs to be reflected in the price. You cannot have a flawed item at the same exact price as a brand new Chanel bag. Um, it just doesn't make sense and no one's going to want to pay the same price as what they could pay for a flawed item that they could pay for a new item. Um, so always keep that in mind. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to think about um, is, so this is going a little off topic a little bit, but think about how you're going to word the title um, to stay competitive with these other comp um, bags. So, like as you can see here, some of it says authentic in the name, some of it says um, the color black, um, leather, medium, double flap, single flap, um, patent leather, uh, classic Chanel bag. So you want to also stay competitive with how other people are actually naming the bag. I think that does make somewhat of an impact if you just have authentic Chanel bag versus authentic Chanel double flap quilted studded black bag, it's very descriptive and I feel like it's more intriguing. Comment down below if you all agree with me, but I feel like it's more intriguing when the title 
lists out exactly what the item is versus authentic Chanel bag. To me, it makes a difference. I, I like when it's really descriptive um, and I feel like that can make you competitive just based off of that and it picks up those keywords in the search engine too. Um, I, th I feel like it makes a big difference, but let me know what you all think. Okay, so now that we've seen the price range, we're kind of getting an idea of how much we should be listing our item for. Um, and you also, while you're looking at these other items, you want to see, you always want to stay competitive. You always want to. That's how every business works. They have to look at what their competitors, quote unquote competitors, are doing. Yes, we are all friends here on Poshmark, but of course everyone's trying to make money and some of us have the same items. So you want to see what other people are doing as well. You want to see what kind of pictures they have, how they're describing their items. You want to always stay competitive and make yours stand out. Okay, so now that I have um, my Prada crossbody leather bag, I'm now going to narrow it down even more and I'm going to put red. Okay. So, I have a few that came up, and obviously there's not a lot, which is okay. So, I'm just going to look through some of them. So, I see that I have a Prada crossbody bag for $380. I have one for $205. I have one for $550. Um, that one's really small. Five, another $550, $125. Um, I think that's it for the red. So you want to, and sometimes there, and this is a prime example, sometimes there might be 10 on there that have sold, maybe 15, maybe 20, maybe 30, maybe 300, maybe 500. It really depends on the item. If you're going to do a pair of Tory Burch brown flats, you're going to get hundreds. Let's just look at it. You're going to get hundreds of comps. Tory Burch Brown Flats. And we're going to go to... And I know this because I bought a pair off of Poshmark. <laughs> Actually, I bought several pairs because I kept getting the wrong size. Long story. But I finally got ones that I love and I wear all the time. So, they actually look like this right here. So, we have so many, so many comps for Tory Burch Brown Flats. And you can see right here, there is a lot of different price ranges. 70, 135, 71, 35, 15, uh, 30. I know I bought mine for $35. There's 50 here, there's 15. There are so many different comps, but you need to take in consideration, does it have studs or is it plain? How much wear and tear is on the item? So always keep that in mind when you're looking at comps that some of them are brand new items, some of them are 5, 10, 15 years old items. Um, so it really, it really depends. Um, now, you can also do, under condition, you can do new with tags. So let's say you have a pair of Tory Burch brown flats that are brand new and you have absolutely no idea how much to list it for. Simply just go to condition, go to new with tags because they're brand new, um, go to sold, and then you can see all of the prices. 125, 195, 120, 72, um, 195, 124. So you're seeing between like a 80 to uh, up to 200 range. So depending on how similar your looks, depending on the condition, if it comes with a box, keep that in mind when you are pricing your items. Again, the whole point is you want to make a profit off of this, but you also want to stay competitive with the other people that are selling the 
item that you are trying to sell. Um, maybe go five, ten dollars more than how much they're pricing. But I would highly suggest not going way too high because no one will take it seriously. And don't go way too low because then you you're missing out on money that you could be making. Um, so always, always check comps. So that is basically everything as far as when it comes to comps. I mean, you can narrow it down even more by by color, um, by sizing. You could do it like specific. My size is a size eight and a half to nine, so I'm like narrowing it down even more. Um, so it, it makes your search easier when you're trying to find exactly what to price your item at and how what has already sold based off of what has already sold I meant um, so I hope you all found this useful I hope that when you're at the thrift store before purchasing the item you always need to look up how much it has already sold for this will really give you a good idea now the other thing that I really wanted to touch on is always looking at other platforms so check out eBay check out Mercari see how much those items are selling for on those platforms as well as Poshmark and the only reason why I say to do that is so that, I mean, there's a few reasons, but it it just gives you a better idea of how much overall on all the platforms this item is selling for. And maybe you do resell and cross list on multiple platforms. You can see like oh my gosh, I really want to sell this on eBay because it is selling for more on eBay than it is on Poshmark. Or maybe something selling more on Poshmark than it is on eBay. Um, so maybe you make the pricing a little, little bit higher on eBay if you know that that item sells for more on eBay versus Mercari or versus Poshmark, whatever platform you sell on. Um, I just think looking at comps all the way on all platforms on how much it's selling for in the retail store is really important um, to stay competitive and to make sure that you're not missing out on any type of profit um, that you could be making. So I hope this was informative. If you are a new posher, I really hope this was informative for you. Um, if you're not a new posher, thank you so much for watching anyways. <laughs> and I hope maybe you found new information from this or a new takeaway. Um, I love creating this content for you all. I'm excited to continue this how-to series. If you are not subscribed to my channel, just simply, simply hit that red subscribe button down below so that you can see when my videos come out and you never miss any information from myself. And hit that little gray bell notification next to it because um, YouTube will not notify you and my videos will not pop up on your feed if you don't hit the, no the bell notification. So definitely hit that. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And everyone, if you are watching this far, leave your closet handle, your Poshmark closet name in the, dis in the comment section below and I will share a few of every single person's uh, closet items if you put your um, closet name in the comment section below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Thank you all so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it so, so much. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. I feel the rain crash